Hi everyone, welcome to the session today. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Secure Access Service Search Platform. My name is Somaraj and Ramakrishnan. I'm uh, working in the networking industry for more than 20 plus years uh, in various um, networking technologies as well as network applications. Uh, without any delay, let's jump into the session. Okay, just wanted to, before I, we start the SASE in detail, uh, first I wanted to cover the evolution of the SASE. So I have a detailed presentation of the SASE in the my, you know, my earlier presentation. If you want, you can look at uh, that detail there. I also put a link here so that you know you can take a look at it. Uh, so I wanted to cover a few points uh, from that uh, presentation as a uh, evolution. Uh, the one actually, the number one is actually the uh, traffic change of traffic pattern evolved over the period. Initially, the traffic pattern was pretty much on uh, east-west direction where most of the traffic was going from uh, branch to central office. And then the change of that pattern from the last uh, uh, 15 years evolved over anywhere to anywhere uh, with the evolution of um, SASA application as well as a cloud networking. The other aspect is that the, the uh, continuous evolution of the security threat. So, uh, and also the networking evolution were uh, aligning with this traffic pattern, ST1 evolution. So it's, it's uh, security and ST1 evolution together. So at this point where we have a lot of um, the remote uh, application running in the cloud and uh, along with the user joining from anywhere to anywhere, any, from any location as well as uh, using any devices, the, that evolved the uh, um, SASE ar uh, platform architecture. SASE stand for Secure Access Service Edge is a new approach to networking and security that combine the benefits of cloud-based and on-premises based technologies. SASE provides a secure, agile and cost-effective way to com connect users, application and data regardless of their location and the devices what they are using to connect to the network. Let's go to the key benefit of the SASE solution. So there are multiple uh, key benefit of adopting the SASE. So the primary benefit of adopting SASE is that it provide a comprehensive set of security features which will help in protecting your organization from a wide range of threat. The second is the improved agility. It is a cloud-based de deployment, which means it is easy to deploy and scale easily and quickly. And the, the last and the most important benefit is the reduced cost. In our traditional security solution include multiple components, which is consolidated into a single uh, platform, which will reduce the overall deployment cost as well as the maintenance cost in the long run. Let's look at the detail of the SASE component. So SASE, as we saw early, is a combination of networking along with security and identity. So if you look at each of uh, this component separately, uh, the networking side, we have the ST1, which is a, a software defined one. And then we, we have the VPN, and then we have the remote access VPN and remote access user. On the security side, we have the secure web gateway, uh, firewall and also CASP, which CASP stands for uh, uh, Cloud Access uh, Service Broker. And then on the identity side, we have the ZTNA, it stands for Zero Trust Network Access. So all those these different component, three uh, pillars of this architecture need to be uh, working together in an integrated fa fashion with the common policy and also visibility across all those components to ensure that it have a uh, benefit, give the benefit of the overall uh, solution. Let's go to the security component of the SASE platform. So in the previous slide, we saw uh, the comp combination of networking as well as uh, um, security components. So we are going, we're going to focus on the security, com four security components. So the first one is actually the secure access security broker with the CASP. CASP is a cloud-based security 
platform that provide visibility and control over cloud application. It can be used to enforce security policies, prevent data loss, and protect against uh, data breaches. The second component is, uh, is the SWT, which is stand for Secure Web Gateway. Uh, yeah, the SWG is a cloud-based security appliance that provide a unified gateway for web traffic. It can be used to filter and block malicious content, enforce security policies, and protect against data loss. And the third service is the firewall as a service. Firewall as a service is a cloud-based firewall service that provide a scalable and cost-effective way to secure network traffic. It can be used to filter and uh, block malicious traffic, uh, enforce security policy, and also protect against uh, uh, data loss. And the last component is uh, is uh, uh, the identity part, which is a zero trust network access. Is a ZTNA. ZTNA is a security architecture. Uh, that uh, eliminate the need for traditional perimeter-based security. It uses identity-based access control to grant users access to application regardless of their location or the type of devices they use uh, to access the network. Okay. In this slide, we are going to look at the security features of SASE. So SASE provide a comprehensive set of security features that can help to protect your organization from a wide range of threat. Uh, also, it's because of the, all the components are working together, overall security is improved as well. So let's go, uh, go to this specific features. So first one is the web filtering. SASE can be used to filter and block malicious content, such as uh, malware, phishing attack, and uh, ransomware. And uh, the addition, other features are application control. It can be used to control access to applications such as email, social media, and uh, uh, file sharing. The data loss prevention. SASE can be used to prevent users from accidentally or intentionally leaking sensitive data um, in from uh, internal uh, uh, corporate network. The, the, the identity component of features of the uh, SASE is a zero trust network access, is a uh, ZTNA, which ensure that uh, control users are granted access to the network regardless of any devices or the location they are, um, uh, they try to log into the network. And the last component is, uh, is a feature is the firewall as a service. It's provide a scalable and cost effective way to secure network traffic. Okay, let's go to the, about the deployment option for SASE today. So primarily there are two deployment options available. One is a managed service option. The the vendor will provide a managed uh, service uh, uh, for the SASE. So, but most of the time today, there it's required multi-vendor for its uh, full deployment. So here, I think you know you need to make sure that you know it's got to be uh, multi-vendor uh, based on the component of the solution. This uh, they have to be deployed on from the cloud uh, for uh, the respective component from the respective vendor. And there is a second option which is a self-managed SASE. It is uh, um, it can be deployed in the, as in the customer by uh, in their enterprise so that you know they can um, they can manage. Uh, in this case, also, I think today there is no comprehensive solution from a single vendor. Mostly, it's it, it best to have uh, uh, the best of breed solution from uh, different vendor uh, to deploy it in the enterprise to make sure you have the best breed of solution available. In, in the future, as per the Gartner prediction 2025, a single vendor solution could be a most preferable option in the 2025 time frame. Yeah, let's uh, go through the some of the popular uh, SASE uh, vendor available. I listed 10 vendor here, but not uh, uh, all uh, uh, all the vendors I listed here. There are more vendors who are providing the SASE component uh, um, in, the, in, in the industry. I listed these 10. Uh, uh, so these are also listed in the alphabetical order. So uh, the fish, the based on the feature they you know each comp each vendor have some uh, some of their benefit the best component so if uh, when you evaluate the sasi solution ensure that you pick up the best and uh, uh, based on your requirement pick up the uh, component respect you know specific component which is uh, best suited for your solution from the respective vendor so you can have an end-to-end -end solution as per the gartner uh, uh, prediction 
today there is no single vendor available um, single vendor available from a comprehensive solution standpoint but by 2025 uh, there could be more single vendor solution will be deployed than uh, multi vendor that's uh, um, uh, evolution uh, we are expecting from as per uh, carter prediction So let's see look at the summary what we have learned so far. Secure access service search SASE delivers conversion network and security as a service capabilities including ST1 uh, security web gateway uh, cloud access uh, service broker next generation firewall and zero trust network access CTNA. SASE support branch office remote workers as well as on premises secure access use cases. SASE is primarily delivered as a service and enables zero trust access based on the identity of the devices or entity or combined with the real time context and security and compliance policies along with continuous verification. Let's look into the feature of uh, SASE. SASE is a new approach to networking and security that provide a secure agile and cost effective way to connect user application and data uh, regardless of the location or the devices they um, connect to the network so such is a rapidly evolving technology and we can expect to see a new and um, innovative security features as well as deployment option emerge in the future as per the gartner prediction by 2025 50% of new st1 purchases will be part of a single vendor sasi offering up from 12 10% today in 2022 similarly for uh, uh, one third of the new sasi deployment will be based on a single vendor sas offering up from 10% in 2022 so if you look at today if you want to deploy all most of the feature together then we need to support uh, you need to go with multi vendor that's the best option available today and also if you are a vendor looking for any update of your wan or firewall or st1 uh, refresh definitely it is a good idea to look into uh, the new sasi architecture so that you know you can uh, leverage the best out of what available today uh, to align with the sasi architecture in the future if you have any further uh, uh, question regarding any of this uh, presentation content or any other sasi related uh, please reach out to We are Mr. Doctor.